Hello! As you can see here, I've got the notes on my screen twice. On one side, I have a paper version of it. And then on the other side, right here, I have a digital version of it. I want to practice with the digital notebook just in case maybe you decide that you want to start using the digital notebook, just in case we um, need to go distance learning and need to practice and use the digital notebook because I can't give you paper copies of things. So you can just see it kind of both ways. So we need to think back to our fractions, decimals, and percents. We need that skill for this new unit. We need to be able to convert back and forth between fractions, decimals, and percents. But we're really going to focus on turning everything into a decimal. That's going to make everything easier when we're comparing and ordering these numbers in different forms. So now for today, we're just comparing decimals, fractions, and percents. Again, I'm going to be showing you how to do the notes on paper and on the digital copy as well. So please follow along on both. So below are these symbols. We call these comparison symbols. So I would write the word comparison in the blank. And then I, on the digital one, I want to take that word comparison and I want to drag it into that blank. Comparison symbols. You can also change the zoom on there too if you need to to see things a little bit easier. I'm comparing different numbers. What is this comparison symbol called? This is greater than. This symbol is equal to. And this one is less than. Everybody knows equal to, we're good with that symbol, but this less than and greater than symbol sometimes confuses people. Something that Mr. Malig, my co-teacher showed me is this less than symbol, it kind of looks like the letter L to help you remember that that is less than. The side is open to whichever number is bigger. So here nine is bigger, the symbol is greater than. Nine is greater than three. Equal, that means they're the exact same. One is equal to one. Less than, it opens to the right side, so that means the number on the right is bigger. Two is less than six. Six is bigger. Then again, I want to do the same thing on my digital copy. Oops. There we go. This is our my greater than symbol. This is my less than symbol. And this in the middle is equal to. When we're going through and comparing numbers, we want to figure out which one is bigger, which one is smaller, or are they actually the same? To do that, we want to convert all of our numbers to decimal form. The reason we use decimal form is because it's just easier for us. If I convert things into fractions, I have to figure out my common denominator and that just kind of creates extra steps. If I convert things into percents, I need to go from the fraction to the decimal, then to the percent. So that's too many steps, but we can turn everything into decimal form in just one easy step. So that's what we want to make everything. After we've gotten everything into decimal th form, we're gonna stack them on top of each other we're going to stack them on top of each other because we're going to use place value to figure out who's bigger, who's smaller. We're going to add these things called trailing zeros. Trailing zeros to help us out when we're trying to figure out which one's bigger, which one's smaller. Because again, place value gets a little tricky. It's easier if not, decimals have the same place value. And then again, like we said, we're comparing place value to see who's bigger, who's smaller. So there's all of our words up top. Let's get into actually solving a problem. Before you get into solving, if you need to pause the video, if you need to pause the video so that you can catch up, go for it. Otherwise, I'm getting into it. We've got some problems that we're going to try together. The first one is 0 0.2. We want to compare it to a fraction. And in case we forget, how do I go from a fraction to a decimal? 
we divide, we divide. So which number is going to go inside my box? Top number goes inside. Bottom number denominator goes on the outside. So we need to divide. How many times does 9 go into 2? It doesn't. 0 times 9 is 0 and subtract. We've got stuff extra, so we need to make some extra boxes. If I make extra boxes, I have to add in zeros. And I need to put in my decimal. Carry over this two. Nine goes into 20 how many times? Two times. Two times nine is 18. Subtract. We get a two and we carry it over. And again, it's how many times does 9 go into 20? 2. So what do we have here? We have a repeating 2. We have a repeating 2. So my 2 ninths in decimal form is 0 0.222 dot 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 dot. My 2s are going to repeat. And then my next number, it's already a decimal. I don't have to do anything special there. It's 0 0.2. We want to add in these things called trailing zeros. Like we talked about up here, trailing zeros just kind of help us compare place value easier. So if I add in some zeros here, so they're the same number of digits long. Here we have 222 thousandths. This is in the tenths place. This is the hundredths. This is the thousands. So here we have 222 thousandths. Here we have 200 thousandths. Which one is bigger? Which one is greater? 222 thousandths is greater. So that means that 2 ninths is greater than 0 0.2. So which way should our inequality face? 2 ninths is larger, so my inequality sign should open up that direction. Whatever side is bigger, that's where I want the open sign to go for the inequality. If we move this little um, white screen, you see that exact same thing. You see that division. You see the answer. And you see they added in those trailing zeros as well. There's no space for you to write when you're doing things on the digital copy. So I highly recommend getting a piece of paper, getting a notebook, and writing all these things down that I'm writing down that you can't write on there. You still want to have that math practice. You can also use a visual, too, to see which one is really bigger. Here, we have 2 out of 9 shaded in, and 2 tenths as in a fraction that's 2 out of 10. So here we colored in 2 out of 10. And if we look really carefully, 2 ninths is just a tiny bit bigger than 2 tenths. Very close, but just a little bit bigger. So there's a few different ways that you can see it. If you need to rewrite any of that, go ahead, pause your video. Make sure you've got all that written down. Otherwise, we're going to go into doing a few practice problems down here at the bottom. Again, if you're at home and you were doing this just on the digital notebook, you would want to write down the work for these problems. You would want to write them down using paper and pencil. So now we're trying to compare 3 tenths and 3 elevenths. 3 tenths and 3 elevenths. The first step, we want to convert everything to what form? We want to convert everything to decimal form. This is already a decimal. 
but 3 11 is not. Go ahead, pause the video. Divide 3 11 for me on your own. I hope you put your numbers in the right spot. I just realized I did not. The top number goes inside. Oops. So Miss LaRose has got to divide. Make sure you did the make sure you did it right. Three should go inside. Eleven should go on the outside. Make sure yours is set up correct. So when you divide, you should see that three elevenths is equal to zero point two seven repeating. So two seven two seven two seven two seven two seven. Okay. So we want to write them out to compare our decimals just like we did here. Three elevenths was equal to 0 0.2727, and it's going to repeat. 0 0.3 is already 0 0.3. So we can fill in those trailing zeros. Let me cover this up a little bit so we can see things a little bit easier. So now I'm trying to compare. 0 0.3 to 3 elevenths, which one of those is larger? 3,000 or 2,727 ten thousandths? That 0 0.3 is larger. So we want to use which inequality sign? Less than or greater than? Less than or greater than, which one should we use? we should use greater than. That 3,000 is bigger than 2,727, but that 3 elevenths is. Next problem. Wait, oops, let me drag in my inequality sign. Boom. Now we have 0 0.3 and 33%. How do we go from a percent to a decimal? We move that decimal point to the left, to the left, like Beyonce tells us. It's not just 33. It's actually 0 0.33. I want to fill in with that trailing 0. And now you choose which inequality sign should we use here when we're trying to compare these two numbers. Which one is bigger? 33 hundredths is bigger. So that means 33% is bigger than 0 0.3. I know again, if you're using your digital notebook, you already know what the answer is going to be for that last one. But I still want you to solve it. I still want you to try it out. So pause the video, do the division, turn this into a decimal, turn both of them into a decimal, and compare them. You really did all that work already? You divided and moved it to the left, to the left? Double check. For your decimals, you should have got 0 0.4 repeating and 0 0.48. Now look and see which inequality sign do you need and why. Hopefully you chose the less than inequality sign because it's the last one left. And also, if I look at my place value, I have 44 hundredths and 48 hundredths. 48 hundredths is bigger, so that means my sign should open to the 48 side. 4 ninths is smaller. 4 ninths is smaller. Did you notice that 4 ninths was 0.4 repeating? And 2 ninths was 0.2 repeating? Whenever your denominator is 9, that numerator is going to repeat over and over and over again. Check it out in the calculator if you don't believe me. If you have any questions about this set of notes, please let us know. Otherwise, go ahead and move on to the practice on the other side where you're comparing fractions, decimals, and percents in pictures, fractions, decimals, and percents, or the next set of notes or the next slide. Good luck. Check with us when you're done.